In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of how to use BrickLayer, which is the visual layout builder that allows you to create customized layout configurations like this one on the demo site. So you can access BrickLayer by logging into your WordPress admin panel and then going to Agility BrickLayer. You'll be welcomed with this message that gives you an overview of the, of the user interface. You can click Get Started to close it. If you ever want to reference that again, you can just click this question mark. So let's start out by covering what each element of the user interface does. In the top right, you'll see that we have an input box that allows us to rename our layout. So the first time we ask, we, the first time you open this up and create a new layout, we'll want to rename. Let's call it my customized layout. Every time we make a change, you'll see that this alert shows up here so that you know that you have unsaved changes that you'll want to save before you leave the page. On the right, we have a few of these boxes. The first is layout settings. This allows us to configure some settings, some just general things for the layout, like whether or not we want to display the title. This allows us to select our blueprint. So the blueprint is the basic structure for this layout. So on the left, you can see our canvas here. And you can see that there's a featured area with a content area and a sidebar area. And if we select different blueprints, this will change. And below that, we have our bricks. This is basically a palette of bricks that allows you to choose what blocks of content you want to have in this layout. So we can drag bricks directly over to the canvas to start building our layout. So maybe we want to have a slider in the featured area. And we want to have our page content in the content area. And we want to have a sidebar in the sidebar area. Now once you drop your bricks into the content area, you'll be able to configure them. So we can give our slider a title. Now this title is just for your own reference. The title within here will be dis displayed above the slider itself, and that's optional. So we can select which slider we want and whether or not we want to crop the slides. The page content will automatically pull the, page, pull the content from the, whatever page is being displayed, which you can set within the edit page screen, just like usual. And then the sidebar allows us to select which sidebar, the sidebar brick allows us to select which sidebar we want to display. So we're going to do the default sidebar. But if you created more custom sidebars, they would show up here. There's also a recycling bin in the bottom right. So if we click on that and we want to remove something from our layout, we can just drag it down into the recycling bin. And those bricks won't be saved. But they won't be deleted either, so you can use them in other layouts. If you want to delete a brick entirely, you can mark it for deletion and the next time you save the layout, it'll be removed. We can also change the width that a, that a brick takes up. And we can create a new row. Or we can bookmark that brick to be used in other layouts. We can delete a layout by clicking the trash can up here. And we can switch to a different layout by clicking this drop down. Or we can create a new layout. All the layouts you've created will be displayed in this drop down. So that's it for the overview, and we'll cover actually creating a real layout in the next tutorial.